police say the price is one that's worth paying. A scheme has been pioneered in Devon to use sewage collected from the southwest to cultivate the deserts of the third world. It's a radical idea that's won the approval of both the government and Southwest Water. Adrian Rosen reports. Andrew Fletcher is a man with a vision. For the past two years, Ed has been spent on trying to turn his scheme into reality. He's converted the dining room of his paint and home into the headquarters of Oasis Irrigation, a complex project designed to use sludge and sewage gathered from the southwest to feed the third world. The deserts have got the minerals, they've got the heat, they've got the sunlight. We've got the organic materials and the water in sewage and wastewater. Let's get it together. Let's make things grow. His plan is to use the oil tankers that come into the southwest coast from North Africa to carry sewage back on their return journey. He says he'd use the sludge and sewage currently dumped out to sea, putting an end to marine pollution at a stroke. The liquid mulch would be mixed with water and sprayed onto the barren deserts, where it would penetrate to a depth of 18 inches and create a gelling effect. This gelling effect, which is a natural substance in most soils, binds all the sand grains together, creating a fertile crust, fixing drifting dunes, if you like, or blowing, uh, blowing away uh, dust clouds. Right? It actually provides a fixative for those in order to get the roots established on, 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 on the plants. Southwest Water says it already uses 85% of the 20,000 tonnes of sludge generated each year as a farmland fertiliser, but it says it eventually wants to use all of it, rather than send it to the third world. It believes Mr Fletcher's scheme is a good one, but not economically viable. In the southwest here, for example, we actually have over 600 sewage treatment works. About 40% of the cost of handling sludge is associated with transporting sludge from those 600 works to a point of disposal. So the amount of money that's available uh, to dispose of it elsewhere is, is only 60%. I don't think at the present time, with the economics as they stack up, that it would be an economic uh, viable proposition to take it to the third part, to another part of the world. Mr Fletcher sees his scheme as a chance to help those that need it most and not as an opportunity to get rich quick. The very idea, he says, is immoral. I would like to think that all of these greedy people in the world would go out and steal my project willy-nilly, you know, because the greedier people get, the more the planet's going to benefit. The benefit of the scheme is being considered by governments both here and in Egypt, but so far there have been no takers.